Hello everyone, I'm Mike. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm a blue golf ball. And today we have a different video for you guys. Again, something special that I hope you guys will enjoy. Yep, and this is still part of the PTCGO collaboration mini series for you guys. Right, so uh, today's match will actually be a team that both players, a blue golf ball and Mike PTCGO had decided on. Uh, we've decided to call it Who Built It Better? And uh, which Pokemon was it revolving around a blue golf ball? Yeah, uh, we're building this deck around Swellow from Roaring Skies. Mm -hmm. And what uh, the ability that it has allows it to snatch up two prize cards for every knockout. So this should be a very interesting battle. Um, so any final thoughts before we get the video starting? Oh, no, not really. Let's <laughs> just go ahead and see these two decks in action here on Pokemon TCG Online. All right. So uh, again, we are just seeing the two players and uh, let's see what type of deck a blue golf ball and Mike have in store for us today. Yeah, it looks like Mike will be going first and uh, definitely I like those sleeves right there. Those are which <laughs> world championship sleeves are those? Um <laughs> <laughs> I believe they're the 2014 championship sleeves. I'm not really ah. sure. Uh, there's uh, I'll be honest with you there uh, Mike has a lot of sleeves. <laughs> oh yeah. And uh, it looks like, yep, Mike's going first. We see some uh, two DCEs and a Grass Energy, and it's going to be Bats. And uh, Blue Golf Ball starts off with a Shaman. That's not the best card to start off mm, with. Absolutely. But I definitely say it's much better than that Jirachi EX, because, again, the Shaman EX, um, through the usage of its attack, it can always go back into a Blue Golf Ball's hand, right? So That's very true, yeah. There's a huge benefit uh, playing uh, Shaman over Jirachi in that sense. And right there, we may just see a Sky Return knocking out that Zubat right here. Mm -hmm. I think I think that is what's going to happen. And looks like uh, we see a very interesting build that a blue golf ball has as well. Some Zubats we see in there as well. Yeah, it looks like he's going pretty aggressive discarding the Golbat. And he could have gone for another Shaman, but I, I think going for the Zubat is a good, good route as well. Absolutely. Um, I mean, those uh, damage counters are definitely going to stack up eventually. And those Zubats, I feel like, are absolutely going to play a big part uh, in terms of helping out those Swellows get those big knockouts. Indeed. And we see right there Mike comments in that chat box, uh, great minds think alike, and <laughs> both players have very similar decks, it mm -hmm, seems. Absolutely. But it uh, looks like Mike uh, is not running any Shaman EXs. I feel like those Shaman EXs can be a pretty big uh, Pokemon, uh, definitely giving some sort of advantage uh, with respect to draw support. Oh, yeah, most certainly. And... And uh, although the bats uh, that uh, alone uh, do help any deck, really, they can they can be thrown in a, virtually any deck. Absolutely, very very flexible. So they're they're some pretty sweet Pokemon. We actually see a lot of competitive play with them nowadays. Yeah, we, even I think we saw in the Canadian nationals was it, with uh, bats and uh, non EX Evil Tall. That yeah, that that is, that is an interesting deck build. I mean, uh, personally, those are never decks that I would have expected to make it to the nationals. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it looks like a blue golf ball here uh, just had his Zubat knocked out by a Supercross mm -hmm. with a Muscle Band but, from Mike. Yeah, so I think that Swallow is going to come in for the kill and allow a blue golf ball to draw into two prize cards. But I'm not entirely sure. Does it is it able to hit for enough damage? I'm not really sure at the moment. Yeah, um, I think so actually. With the muscle band, should be able to hit for yeah, 50, and that's exactly been a that magic right 50 damage. So that's yep. two prize cards um, for knocking out a non EX Pokemon. So that is impressive. Yeah, if can you imagine if that was an EX? That, that's a huge <laughs> prize swing right there, mm -hmm. taking three. Three prize cards, my goodness, that is that that would be intense. You know, doesn't look like Mike has anything though that he can actually do, uh, and he's going to simply end his turn. Yeah, and it look, it's actually pretty cool that Mike is playing with um, a uh, Frozen City gem. We don't see that too often, and I think that's pretty unique. Exactly. The, that Absol doesn't see a whole lot of action either with the Cursed Eyes ability, but I definitely say that the energy manipulation, I think, can make a pretty big difference. Yeah, it looks like uh, you can see right there uh, a blue golf ball was going to use an end, but it looks like it's going to go with an aggressive route and go with the Juniper yeah. to attempt to get the Crobat and uh, try to knock out that Absol. Uh, we see right here a uh, blue golf ball has an interesting tech with the uh, the other Swallow here with Drive Off. Yeah, that is that is some de definitely some interesting text, and we are going to see the Crobat coming out. So it uh, looks like we're going to see that Absol EX getting knocked out. So. Definitely, and I think that Juniper paid off, and um, you know, discarding uh, two Swellows and 
and uh, you know some good cards there, but it paid off taking two more prizes. Yeah, absolutely. I felt like the aggressive way was the way to go with a blue golf ball again. Just a massive advantage right now. I don't really think Mike can make a comeback anymore again. He's just down too many prize cards at the time. Yeah, and, and I mean, if Mike had an end, maybe something could have changed, you know, putting uh, a blue golf ball down to one card. Because uh, we, we saw previously a blue golf ball had that Lysander, which can bring out, you know, the, the Zubat if need be. Exactly. But uh, no energies, and looks like that's precisely what Mike is commenting right now. Um, so I think that's going to be it. I think that's going to be game. I'm not really sure. Uh, as long as a blue golf ball can knock out another Pokemon. Yeah, it looks like we'll see the retreat from the Zubat, but again, uh, a blue golf ball has that end, and that should be able to bring out the Zubat and finish the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think this is going to be it. Um, and yes, so we are seeing the GG from a blue golf ball. The Lysander at hand. Again, the Lysander, just a vicious card. <laughs> That is three games in a row, uh, you know, with the, the previous battle, uh, with the, <laughs> the budget deck battle. Exactly, three seems like Lysander, where... <laughs> it's the real champion <laughs> card, you know, it's a real, it's it's an awesome card, I have to say. Yeah, a after this series, uh, Lysander's price is going to get jacked up. <laughs> oh, I think so too, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, so we're seeing Lysander's getting commented on, again, very vicious cards. Yeah, and it uh, looks like a blue golf ball will be going first here. Uh, leads with a uh, how do you pronounce that? Talo? 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 Yeah, I think I think it's Talo. Yeah, I, I don't know. Some of these Pokemon have just some really really whack pronunciations. Uh, so I'm just gonna throw something out at you, blue golf ball. Just let me know what you think it's pronounced like. Um, so how do you <laughs> pronounce uh, one of the Pokemon that we have that have the safeguard ability? I'm, I'm, I'm sure you know which Pokemon I'm referring to, but I want to hear Oh, Sigilyph? Sigilyph? Okay, so that's that's how I pronounce it as well, but I have yeah. heard Sigilyph as well, so... Um... Oh, Sig <laughs> yeah, I heard that too. <laughs> it, it's interesting, there's a lot of different pronunciations for certain Pokemon. Alright, but it uh, looks like a blue golf ball is has a pretty big turn right now. We are seeing the Ultra Ball. Um, I think we're going to see the Zubat coming out, and yeah, so it looks like that Zubat is going to come out. Uh, yes. Yeah, and we, we could see, you know, a blue golf ball definitely could have gone even more aggressive playing the computer search for the Shaman, but I think it was a little bit more conservative to hang on to that computer search instead of getting another Shaman to draw uh, six brand new cards. Absolutely. I mean, uh, we never know when those A spec cards can pay off, especially one as flexible and as powerful as the computer search. Yeah, and you know, I kind of like um, the, the tech that Mike has here with Verizian, uh, definitely blocking. Uh, special conditions using grass energy, and you can never know either. Verizon can also attack uh, and and kind of energy accelerate too. Exactly. So that that, that is a pretty interesting tech. Um, what do you think was the reason that a blue golf ball decided to include those darkness energies? Is there a dark right yet somewhere in the deck, or? Um... Uh, I believe uh, it's just for in case scenarios of uh, what is it? The shadow circle gets played, and uh, I think we also saw fairy energies previously in case if uh, fairy garden got right, played. Right, right. Also, oh, that's so, very interesting. So the, a little bit of flexibility uh, with respect to that swallow. So do you think maybe going the rainbow energy route would have been uh, a little bit better? I mean, just to take advantage of all the flexibility of different prize cards. Uh, sorry, of the different stadiums. Or um, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think so, uh, but I think the disadvantage would be because, you know, Swellow is just really low on HP, and uh, right. to give up even a, a small chance of that with the 10 damage, uh, especially with, you know, you know, with bats out there and other things like that, it uh, gets pretty dangerous. Absolutely, yeah, and also the fact that Mike is running the Frozen City uh, Stadium card that we saw as well, so that would uh, stack a lot of damage counters onto a Swellow just for a single Rainbow Energy. Oh yeah, very true. And we can see here, we've got the end right there, um, and uh, it looks like it's a pretty, uh, it's, it's an okay hand right here. You can counter the stadium, play a couple more basics. Right, but uh, again, we haven't seen a single Swallow come out on Mike's side just yet. Um, just seems to be a bit of a slow going game, and again, no supporter cards in Mike's hand either, so that is interesting. I mean, an N uh, would definitely help out around here, but... Uh... Yeah, it would have been really nice if Mike, uh, you know, ran a, uh, a Shaman right there and was able to get a Shaman. Uh, that would have been a nice uh, fresh hand of 6 as well. Absolutely. Um, just the one thing is, though, that the uh, dangerous aspect of running Shaman EX in a Swallow-based deck is, of course, the fact that uh, Swallow would allow us to take 3 prize cards for knocking out a single Shaman EX. 
Oh, that's very true. And especially, yeah, Shaman's uh, HP is a huge liability. Exactly. Uh, being at only 110. Yeah, so it looks like we're seeing the Absol come into play and the Cursed Eyes allowing Mike to get that first knockout of the game, uh, at least for himself, um, with respect to knocking out that Zubat. So that's interesting. Yeah, and it looks like right here, Mike does have an opportunity to play the Ultra Ball to get a Swallow out. Um, could see that, but uh, we definitely need needing the energy drop works mm -hmm. pretty well. Yeah, so it doesn't have any energy cards uh, for him to actually be able to make use of a Swallow right now, so I don't really think we're going to be seeing it yet. So we're seeing the Retreat, the Absol coming out into play, and looks like it's going to be a blue golf ball's turn once again. Yeah, oh, right there, the Lysanders, and blue, a blue golf ball has another VS Seeker to Lysander again, and this is pretty brutal here. Uh, just taking out the, the tail of before we even see it evolve to the Swallow. Absolutely, yeah, so we're seeing a very one-sided game right now. Uh, I would definitely say that a blue golf ball built this deck better as opposed to Mike. Yeah, and I, well, I think definitely the uh, the Shamans is what accelerated the deck a little bit more, but kind of like, as we discussed, does have a huge liability at the same time. Absolutely, absolutely. But I, I felt like it's a deck that uh, definitely paid off for a blue golf ball during the bulk of this game. I mean, just very, very fast. Uh, the ability for a blue golf ball to bring out those swallows, those bats as well. So I think it definitely paid off. Yeah, we can see here, um, looks like Mike's preferred uh, Ace Spectre choice was going to be the uh, scoop up, being able to scoop up for free, no questions asked, no flipping, nothing, and uh, being able to uh, scoop up the curl bat uh, was pretty nice right there too. Absolutely, uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, just being able to bring out those bats all over again, I feel like there, it's definitely uh, nice, some nice flexibility to have. Yeah, and you know, I think the uh, the Sacred Ash is definitely a good card to have in these kind of decks, especially with you know small Pokemon uh, that easily gets knocked out, or you, you can the flexibility of discarding Pokemon. So Mike having the Sacred Ash there is really good as well. Absolutely, um, and I, I think where Sacred Ash really pays off is in decks with lots of evolution Pokemon, and we are seeing the GG. Yeah, it looks like the the Lysander here will be able to bring out. The little Zubat again. It's that Lysander, I'm telling you, Mike. <laughs> so what is that? Uh, four games, four games that uh, were achieved through victories through simply Lysandering thus far. Every single game we've reviewed thus far, Lysander seems to have been the card that brought about the victories. Yeah, the Lysander is just, especially picking off uh, the smaller Pokemon on the bench and uh, just taking advantage like that uh, was really beneficial. Absolutely. Well, I think that is going to come. Uh, bring the video to a conclusion. I mean, a blue golf ball just sweep, sweeping those two victories. Um, so he is going to be the winner of the Who Built This Deck Better. Yeah, and most certainly that was very exciting. Uh, it was very com competitive too, uh, to, you know, seeing the builds and the strategy behind them. But uh, in terms of the actual footage, uh, it did seem a little bit one-sided. Absolutely, yeah, that's what I think. I, I definitely uh, felt like the Florges EX and the Evil Toll EX deck that we had seen in the previous week and the budget decks were definitely uh, much, much more sort of close and intimidating intimidating sorts of battles where we really didn't know how things were going to end up. Right, and uh, this one, it kind of, it, it seemed like a blue golf ball just had his foot on the pedal and, uh, it, you know, things, I think a lot of it was his draws too, getting the, the right draws at the right time off those shamans. Absolutely. And uh, was able to pull it off uh, at a really fast rate. Absolutely, I have to 100% agree with you. But yeah, I think that is going to wrap up the video. Um, again, if you guys are interested in checking out the deck lists, we will have them in the description sections down below. Feel free to check out Mike's channel as well and a blue golf balls. Again, there's some amazing content there. Lots of different Pokemon TCG decks. Uh, anything else that you would like to add in a blue golf ball? Yeah, and uh, if you guys are watching the video, um, give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it. And if you are a, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channels here. Subscribe to Mike. Uh, again, his links uh, to his channels below, and uh, subscribe to this channel here with uh, with me. And uh, we'd love to continue to do these kind of things for you guys. And uh, yeah, that's about it. You guys all take care then. All right, take care, guys.